Hey, welcome back everyone, Scoriox here, and today I'm going to go over just how you can get ready for the Fancy Birds whitelist mint and the public sale, as well as anyone else who wants to know how to set up Polygon and Polygon Ethereum for minting on top of Matic. All right, so as always, welcome back. I'm Scoriox, where I do the maths and you do that sweet degen. And as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor and please always do your own research. Let's get into it. All right, so I know a lot of people have been asking this in the Discord, and if this, you found this helpful and you want others to know and be able to have the same success as you, please like down below and leave a comment of what you found most helpful or what you're still unsure about, and I'll try and field your questions or even make a community post or something addressing if I miss anything major or stuff like that. So definitely stay in touch. I want to help out as many people as I can on this and make sure that everyone has a good time. So I'm going to go in this step by step and take my time with this one. So I hope it doesn't run too long, but you're definitely going to watch this start to finish so that you make sure you know what's going on. All right. I'm going to try and be as clear and simple as possible. And I know a lot of YouTubers don't do this and that's why I like doing it, but I'm actually going to do the process myself and then you guys can just copy what I do because you'll know it works. Just that simple. I'm going to go over MetaMask doing it inside MetaMask and Polygon website and whatever. And I'm going to go through a centralized exchange way of going about it and some of the risks and advantages of either one. So if you want to see what's going to happen, then please watch this video. I, it's going to be so helpful to a lot of people and I really hope it helps as many as I can. Okay. So first we're going to cover off fancy birds just because that's kind of the main focus of this video. So simply put, when is the mint? Now, one big thing to note is that the mint, oh, wrong website. The mint is from the 10th at 8 p.m. UTC. I didn't convert that into anything. Apologies. <laughs> to the 14th, 8 p.m. UTC. The big takeaway here is you have four days to mint your bird. Okay, you can relax and they don't even get revealed until a few days after that. Do not stress. Take your time to make sure you do it right. You have a lot of time to do it. The benefit of the whitelist is you have a lot of time to do it. So watch this video a few times if you have to and like it on all your accounts. <laughs> but yes, you have the time, okay? Um, and that's pretty much all there is to it with the mints. If you're an early bird, you get two mints. If you're an early bird and a hatchling, you get three. And a hatchling on its own just gets one. And an OG bird gets four mints, okay? Four mints is good because obviously you have two pairs to breed with and so on. But you can mix and match them and everything. I, Honestly, that's what I'm most excited for, trying to see what my offspring birds look like and if they look the same as the parents and stuff like that. I'm really interested in that side of it. I want to make like really rare traits and things if I get the chance. <laughs> I know that's not what everyone's in it to make money, but I'm in it to make cool birds. Okay, so let's look at the next part. So this is a Medium article and all these links that I'm using, contract addresses and everything, they're all going to be in the description down below. So don't stress, if you're looking for something, just go down there or wait on the screen for a sec and pause it or whatever and look at the stuff. But this website here is the medium article for them minting on Polygon, all right? So if anything I say doesn't make sense, I've read this, it's actually pretty good. It's straightforward, but more for people that are already familiar with crypto, okay? And I know that's not everyone, um, so that's why I'm making this video to try and help as many as I can. Okay. So this talks about all that. Another big thing to take away is that SFNC will be unlocked from pretty much now, I think 14 UTC, probably tomorrow morning for me. SFNC, you will be able to claim. Now we don't know how much it's going to cost to breed and there's no really no rush on it, but you will be able to claim it before the mint even starts. And that will be used for breeding, or at least that's its main intention at this stage. And you can also use it for cosmetics and things. But again, this article explains a lot of this really well. And I actually pulled from some of this for my video. All right. So getting ready for the mint. There are a few things you need to take care of. But first, let's set up your MetaMask for it. And I've started, I've got my wallet with my Ethereum in it. So I don't have a brand new wallet. But I've started mostly from scratch for anyone else who hasn't done this before. If you've done certain steps, then wait until I get up to it and then go on forward. 
and figure out the rest of it, but yeah. Okay, so just on that, I'm going to grab this address here and I'll explain that in a minute. So don't stress about that. But basically we're gonna open up our MetaMask, okay? And this is what it looks like for most people. I have a bunch of tokens here for a bunch of different reasons. You might just have Ethereum, maybe USDT. I don't know what you've done in the past. Your MetaMask will have an account and your Ethereum. Again, if you have seed phrases and things, especially during this dangerous time, the mint process is where a lot of the scam has come out of the woodwork. Don't give your password seed phrases anything to anyone, okay? Don't click any weird links. All the links in my description are going to be safe, but always do your own research anyways. I, you can't trust anyone, not even good old Scoriox. Okay, so I have 0.8 Ethereum. Honestly, that's pretty much the only liquidity I have left. If you guys think I'm a whale or something, and that's half my money, that is all my money. <laughs> okay, so I've got my assets. Now, the first thing we wanna do is when we want to add the Polygon network. Okay, so we're gonna jump down and add network. All right, and it's gonna take you to this website here. Forgot it took you to web. Okay, so you just wanna swing over to this website here and it just tells you how to add the network. So I'm gonna tell you right here, okay? So first, so we've already opened up the MetaMask browser that asks us for all the information and I wanna get the network name and I'm gonna type that in myself. I don't believe it actually matters what you type in here, but for your future reference, it's best to type it in Polygon or maybe even Matic, but just do Polygon, follow this as much as you can. It's gonna be for the benefit of you, trust me. Okay, then we need the RPC URL. So I'm just going to copy this. Again, I will put all of this in the description down below, do not worry. Um, and the chain ID, which is 137. And the currency symbol, and that will be Matic. So that's just discussing the token symbol. So Polygon is the chain's name and everything, and Matic is the token ticker, essentially. And then the Block Explorer URL, which is quite important, and that's polygonscan.com. And you click Save. Now when I go back, I've got Polygon, okay? And I've already got width added to it. I'm gonna see if I can delete that now. Yep, okay, so I've deleted it. So all you should really have here, I'm not even sure if Matic will show up, but I think it will, is your Matic balance. And I'll explain why that's important soon, but for now, you will have nothing here. The last thing you need to do to set up your MetaMask for this entire system is to add the token address for the Polygon Ethereum, okay? Now, I don't like it when people use the term with, like WETH, right? Oh my God, it's here somewhere. There was the thing. Oh wait, wrong website. It's this one. <laughs> I keep doing that. Um, it is right here. Okay. So I'll grab this to token contract address. This is the Ethereum contract address, um, the Polygon Ethereum contract address. So the reason I don't like it when people say WETH or whatever is because there's so many kinds of Ethereum. Okay. And WETH can refer to something called wrapped Ethereum. And this can be Ethereum that's still on the ERC20 network, the Ethereum network. What we're after here to mint on Flappy Bird, uh, Fancy Birds is something called Polygon ETH. And it's often represented with the WETH ticker, but it's Polygon ETH, okay? And I'll show you a good way you can test if you have the right one before we go into the mint so that you know you're safe. Okay, I have a great way. I've always tested it in the past. It hasn't failed me yet. It's very, very good. Okay, so now that I've copied that contract address, let's go back to this for a second. For that thing, all we're gonna do is go down to import tokens. Now, honestly, I'm not gonna show you how to do all this on mobile today because I think it's really important you take the time, you get on your computer. I know not everyone has one and a lot of these systems are really similar. And if you guys wanna see a mobile tutorial, I can do that tomorrow but I'm not going to do it for now. And all you do is you enter the address and if it's a well-known ticker, this won't always happen, but if it's a well-known one, everything should appear. And if you see everything appear like it did here, then you know that it's good, okay? And you go and you import token and I've already got a balance of it, not enough for the mint, obviously, 
but I've already got a balance there, okay? So now, the next step we're gonna go to is we're going to bridge this over to Polygon. We're gonna send our Ethereum over. So how I check my original Ethereum is I go from Polygon at the top here, and I'll just switch that to the Ethereum mainnet, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is that is the wrong one, and so is that. All right. Um, Actually, I believe it was on the Fancy Birds Medium page. And I will go to Technology Bridge. That'll do. Oh, it's the same thing I was on before. Okay, cool. All right. So here's the Polygon Bridge. Okay, again, description down, down below. And just while I'm doing this, if you want to take a second to like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. It helps more people see fancy birds and all this awesome crypto content. And I definitely want to keep expanding and scaling up as I go. If you guys like this content, then definitely, I'd really appreciate it if you help me out. So I'm just going to sign this wallet address. Again, always be careful you're clicking on the correct links. Okay, that'll log me in. Okay, so once you're all set up, you're going to want to go to this website and click this tab here and change it to Ethereum, okay? So you just type it in here, ETH, it should appear, and now you're on Ethereum, all right? So next, what you wanna do is you wanna select the amount of money. As I said before, 0.26 is what I'm gonna go with today. Actually, no, 0.28 I think I had, yeah. Sorry. So sorry for the mix up there, 0.28 Ethereum, and make sure it's going to Polygon Chain. Now this is the Polygon Bridge, so I think that's really the only option. <laughs> But um, yeah, just making sure you're doing that. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna click transfer. It says that deposit of funds could take seven to eight minutes and that something's not reported, but that doesn't really bother us at the moment. Just gonna wanna completely do that. Single transaction, $34. Honestly, that is amazing. Yes, click the Ethereum network in your MetaMask. Okay, so it's making sure I'm on the Ethereum net network. See how it's currently set to Polygon. So I'm lucky it caught me on that, but it shouldn't really make a big difference. I'm not sure why it needed it, but I'm making sure it's on the Ethereum network. Click continue. Okay, pay that gas fee, which is now $11 somehow. I'm having a very good day since it's at $11. Okay, it's confirmed. And it's just gonna go, it's just gonna be in progress. Now, if you guys wanna double check how the progress is coming along, you can go to Etherscan, it'll show this, but this often takes a little while to update. So we're just gonna wait for that to happen. Now, I wanna talk about the other way we can get our tokens across while we're waiting for this to process. And that's from a centralized exchange. I think, I think I do need to mention something first though. Something really important is that for the Mint, you will need two major things. You will need Polygon Ethereum and you will need Matic tokens. And you can see this just refreshed and it went to success, just so you know. You need Ethereum and Matic. And why do you need Matic? Because that's how you pay the gas. So a lot of people talk about Matic being a great solution to being low gas it still has gas, it's just really low. And that's why you need the Matic tokens. Now, unfortunately, in the past, Matic has come from thin air. Nowadays, it does not, <laughs> unfortunately. So we will need to get some Matic somehow. And I'll talk through a few ways to do that in just a second. But first, let's talk about the centralized exchange method. So if I jump over to my Binance here, I think everyone everything's hidden pretty well. You can go to the withdraw crypto section in your Binance. If I scroll this down a little bit, no, nope, I can't. Yes, we can. You go to the withdraw section of your Binance and you select the Matic token, all right? Now what you can do is down here in network, this won't be selected when you start off, you can select the Matic network. What you can do here is you can have enough USD worth of Matic so I'm not sure what exactly that is, maybe $500 or whatever to get a bunch of birds in Matic. You can send that over to your MetaMask. If it's on Polygon, it will come inside the Polygon network in your MetaMask. 
And then you can go on Sushi Swap right here, which is here. You can go on Sushi Swap, and then as soon as you change your MetaMask network to Polygon, Sushi Swap will also change to the Polygon version. And you can change your Matic token for Matic Ethereum. It will be called WETH, but I have this Ethereum in my wallet and I know this is the correct one. You will have a zero here, so you might not know, but this is the correct one in this case. So you can just convert it across like this. That is one way to go about this. Now, not every exchange has Matic, to has Matic networks and you can't send over the Matic network. Although a lot of things like Coinbase and such have the Binance Smart Chain. I'm gonna talk about one alternative right now. So if we jump onto a website called xpolynote, and I've heard from someone that this works quite well, I've never used it personally, so please do your own research before using it, look up another YouTube video or something. But what you can do is you can grab the Binance Smart Chain, you can grab say, um, BNB token, if you sent that over, no, there's no BNB here, USDT, you can send over USDT from most exchanges on the Binance Smart Chain, you can swap that for Polygon, and then select Ethereum maybe. Yeah, you can select with. And what this will allow you to do, 1.33, I'm not sure what that refers to, but I'm pretty, I'm 90% sure this is the right one. Again, do your own research, but you can actually transfer pretty much anything between things. I'm not sure if it's hard to do or if it costs a lot or anything like that, but this is an alternative for those that have all of their tokens on an exchange like Coinbase, because I know in America you don't have Binance, you have Binance US, which I don't think has the Matic, the Matic tokens that you can send across. So this is another option. Um, I believe that on Max, a lot of people have trouble with, with things like the Polygon Bridge. So this is an alternative for those people and this might work just a little bit better. So you're always willing to try it again, please do your own research. Now, the last thing I should mention with that is if you are going to and from a centralized exchange, once you have the Polygon Ethereum, do not send that back to the exchange. I cannot guarantee and I'm pretty sure you will never get that money back. If you sent it over as Matic on the Matic network, send it back as Matic on the Matic network. Go back the same way you came as much as you can, or you could run into some serious problems. That is, that is my warning. Please listen to me. <laughs> okay, so the last thing we wanna do. So now that I've transferred it across um, and it has been completed or confirmed, not completed, Let's just check in my wallet. I'm really not sure if it's done. It says pending, so I guess it's not done yet. Um, okay, I will return when it is finished. Okay guys, we're back. So as you can see, the little pending thing up here is gone. And if I jump over to transactions, you can see 13 minutes ago, successful. Okay, this is what you should be aiming for. Again, it took a lot longer than seven or eight minutes. It took more like 20 minutes. If it hasn't happened even in 20 minutes, do not panic. Give it at least an hour or even 24 hours. It can take a bit of time for them to do it. The Matic network is a bit congested right now, so definitely consider that. Now, what is the next step? We need to get Matic, but there is a dramatic irony in this, okay? We have Matic Ethereum and no Matic, but to swap from Ethereum to Matic, we need Matic. <laughs> so you end up with this endless loop where you can't get what you need. But thankfully, Matic has created a solution for us for the time being. They had this faucet system and then Matic just, the gas fees got higher. Eventually it will turn into Ethereum, mark my words. And Ethereum's gas will drop and Matic's will rise. I don't know, we'll see. Matic is a great network, but I still think everything should be on Ethereum if we can make it that way. Okay. So what we want to do is I'll put this link down in the description, but down the bot, down the left here, you have swap for gas token. Basically, this is a gasless exchange, but all you can use it for is swapping something into Matic. That is how it works. There's not much more to it. So if I click one Matic here, if I type one Matic, oh, I've got to select the token, sorry. Pause ether, it hasn't seemed to update, hasn't updated yet. 
um, balance 0 0.09, that can't be right. I type in ETH. Maybe it hasn't updated. I'll refresh it. Let's see what happens. That was really weird. It really should have shown all the ETH. There we go, 0 0.32. It just hadn't updated yet. Apologies for that. But if I go over here, I'm on the Polygon network. You can see up the top here. We can see that I have my 0 0.319 Polygon ETH. I'm going to call it that until I die. Trust me, that is what it is. Try not to get it confused if you can. Okay. And all I want to do is I want to say how much Matic I want. In this case, let's say one Matic. Let's see how much one Matic is worth. So let's just quickly jump onto the trading view. This is how I search up my prices. I know it's a bit weird, but it is what it is. Uh, Matic to Tether. Matic is about $2. Okay. Now the question is how much Matic will someone need? So each transaction might cost you about 50 cents. Now all the birds should really happen in one transaction, but I'm gonna try and be as safe as I possibly can here. And I'm gonna go for two Matic tokens, okay? That should be plenty for what I wanna achieve. It's about four or five dollars. Should be plenty for what I need it for. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna hit approve. And then it's gonna give me this and I'm gonna sign it. Again, no gas, which is pretty cool. I haven't seen that much in today's crypto world, <laughs> except on immutable sometimes. And then you click swap. And I don't know how long it's going to take, but you will have this and you'll hit sign. Server stumbled somewhere. Fired off notification of the team to investigate. Please try again after some time. I have no idea what that's about. Okay, that is a big problem. So let's click approve again and see if we can fix it. Maybe it was just a once off. I hope this doesn't happen to any of you guys. Again, the Matic network's being super weird right now, which is partly why it's taking me so long to make this video. Approve, swap. Ah, uh, there we go. I get this super long transaction, which I'm pretty sure is what I'm supposed to get. So, so anyways, I'm really sorry about that split there, but what, I think happened before is I hit the approve button and then I hit the swap button too late because sometimes the approvals only last a short while, especially when you have something like this and you're not paying gas. So click approve, sign, click swap, sign. All right. And you should be able to get the Matic tokens you just put in. So now it says approve transaction that appeared almost instantly actually, for those of you that are wondering. And now I have two Matic tokens and now I have enough for the sale, I don't know how I ended up with 0 0.31 ETH. I guess I had some from before, but this is Polygon ETH. Now, here is the last step and something I, it's not super important. You don't have to do it. If you've come this far and everything looks the same, then you should be fine. But here is my favorite step. I'm going to double check that this works. I know for a fact that, or I've, I've seen in the past, that a lot of these things that mint on Polygon, I have minted things on Polygon before, most of them, use the exact same Ethereum that the OpenSea Polygon Ethereum is. It's the same Ethereum. So if it works on OpenSea, then it will work for a lot of the mints. And that logic also comes from that, the fact that these fancy birds will be resellable on OpenSea if you wanted to. I personally don't really want to sell any of my birds, but if they somehow go to like three Ethereum, I could probably use the money to be honest. I might sell one of them. I don't, I don't know. It's unimportant, but I definitely want to keep them for the long term. I think the game will be fun. I believe in the team. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Again, not financial advice. Also, I'm really sorry to everyone about how messy this video has kind of been. I've tried to keep it concise and accurate, but it's been a little bit jittery. So I apologize for that. And my next one will definitely be better. So now I've tried to look at a few collections for this, but this is the one that works for me the easiest. I'm going to go to the Z Run collection, which has 200,000 horses in it now, apparently, and the floor price is pretty much nothing. I've lost a lot of money on Z, not going to lie. That being said, I've actually had a lot of fun playing this game. So if you want to try it out, go nuts. I've had a lot of fun. Don't play it to make money. It's, it's really fun though. Okay. So I'm just going to grab this horse here just cause, and what I want to do is I want to click make offer. 
Again, a lot of this, you might be able to actually make the offer if you want. It's going to cost you a little bit of gas. Thankfully, it's not Ethereum level gas though, so you should be okay. I'll click the make offer button and it'll be this Ethereum. Okay, so the difference here is that if I switch my MetaMask from Polygon to Ethereum and then I click make offer, offer, it'll actually still do this. Okay, so if it's the pink Ethereum, it's the Polygon Ethereum. And I'll see that my balance is 0.319, which is my Polygon Ethereum balance. If this balance shows up with something, then you that's the amount of Ethereum you have to use for the Fancy Bird sale. It's this pink one here, okay? And that is how I check it. It seems really un, it's unordinary and strange and weird, but it works for me and I'm sure it will work for you too. Thanks for sticking by me with this video. I hope it helps at least one person get ready for the Fancy Birds Mint. I know it's scaring a lot of newer people to the space and a lot of new crypto people and even some of the older ones because a lot of people just stick to Ethereum, the standard MetaMask, Binance Smart Chain and things like that. But if this helps you set up with your Polygon, please, I'm very, very thankful and uh, have a good day, everyone. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching the video. I hope that you'll watch that next video up in the top right hand corner or don't, but I really do appreciate it. Please like and subscribe down below. And I'll catch you all in the next one.